it is sick chick vlogs <clears throat> excuse me it is like um six o'clock in the morning and i had to come get some gas and uh one second it's already done okay i'm i'm back i'm sorry it was y'all well you don't know how long it's been <laughs> but i was pumping gas and the pump that i was pumping the gas what the these people all over this damn parking lot why but I'm not, I'm not gonna curse. And what are you staring at me for, dummy? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call that man no dummy. <sighs> but I'm feeling some type of way this morning, folks pissing me off. But pump gas, and it's looking like I didn't pay for the gas, and I used my debit card, okay? Um, so I had to go inside, and they have the, um, that's the gas station where you can buy the food at. And literally, okay, people are standing up buying food you have to go get in line behind the people that are ordering food. And I'm thinking to myself, they're not done ordering their damn food. So why can't I just get you to print me out a damn receipt? Okay. I don't need nothing. All right. I don't want none of your poke chops and things. I just want my damn receipt that shows I paid my monte. That way, um, when I get to pull it off, you don't be calling the popo ho on me. Talking about I ain't paid for my damn gas. Talking about I'm, uh, I'm pumping and dipping. Okay. No, ma'am, you will not. Have hey, me sitting up in nobody's kind of jail for Christmas. No, ma'am. No, 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 no. You will not. Mm -mm. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But, I'm sorry. I'm tired because that damn uh, gas station was a long way from them pumps. Whoever uh, built that shit, they they, they built that to, to make fat folks exercise because that damn building is uh, a long ways away from them damn pumps. Okay? I ain't just saying. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, I've been getting, you know, y'all know something. I used to have, <clears throat> excuse me, I used to have technical difficulties getting up and down the stairs. But now that I have stairs in my apartment, I run up and down them stairs like it ain't nobody been. Like when I first moved in that camp, honey, it was a, uh, a task, a dueling task for me to run up and down those stairs without breathing like a, some kind of hog, you know what I'm saying, a wild hog or whatever. But uh, now I notice when I run up and down the stairs, it doesn't do anything. I just, you know, I don't be breathing all hard and things. So shout out to progress and shout out to even having an apartment with stairs so I can get a little bit of exercise in. I'm later than a mug going to pick this man up, but I had to get my receipt. Wasn't nobody gonna try to say I uh, stole nobody's gas, honey. But um, I wanted to come make this video. I know some people probably cut it off already. Like she ain't talking about a damn thing. I wanted to come and make this video for a couple of people. Um, one in particular that I watch that I know you guys probably don't watch uh, because, you know, he's like a, he's a chili reviewer. He does what the fuck reviews on things that are, you know, the average person would probably be like, I'm not going to drink that shit, honey, or eat that shit. No, that ain't going to have cam. But I just, oh, I didn't have my lights on. But I really find him entertaining and I love watching his videos. This video is dedicated to a couple of people and to Ted Barris, the fire breathing idiot here on YouTube. I don't even know if he's going to watch this particular video because he, um, I don't know if he, I know he watches some of my videos, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch all my videos because nobody's going to click on every single one of your videos and watch them. You know, it all depends on what the, the title is says or whatever. I might just, I might, you know, then again, I, don't, I really don't know if I want to do that because niggas will, you know, they be feeling some type of way, so I don't even know if I want to do that, though. But, um, what am I about to say? Okay, so he made a video this morning or last night, and I watched it. I'm sorry, I'm putting my cruise control on. And, um, he was, you know, he was feeling down and out. He was feeling really low because, you know, the holiday time and, you know, he was thinking about a lot of things, his parents and, you know, um, his childhood and things like that during Christmas time. And um, he was feeling really, really bad. And he made a video and he was really emotional. And um, I really felt for him. Um, I can't relate to not having my parents around. Um, you know, having, feeling like I have no one, but, uh, I really sympathize with him because, you know, I know it's a different form of, um, I know, I know it's, it's a 
totally different feeling than the feeling that I have. But you know, with my brother and my uh, my dad not being around anymore for Christmas, it does you know change things. But I'm so thankful and so grateful that I do have my mother to share um, and celebrate Christmas with. I do. Um, I am very, very, very thankful to the Lord above for that. Um, and he was saying how you know he sometimes feel like feels like he has no one to talk to. And you know sometimes as people we can put on the happiest face in the world. When I tell you guys, sometimes I come on here, I be going through stuff so hard to the point where I be thinking to myself, just you know. Why the fuck am I even on YouTube? Why am I even recording videos, putting on here? I just want to go back to what I used to do and just be shit, a, a person who don't give a damn about shit because, I mean, I, I felt like people didn't give a fuck about me. You know what I'm saying? But I refuse to let the devil, you know, put me back into that mindset. But I said that to say a lot of times people could come on, whether it be YouTube or whether it be in real life, and, you know, the people that you look at sometimes, you think to yourself, oh, they, they they have it all together, you know. They have this, they have that, and, you know, you feel like um, these people, they can't be depressed about anything, you know. They can't be depressed. For what? They You feel like, oh, they don't have a reason to be depressed. But I can promise you this. A lot of times when you see people who are putting on extremely, extremely, extremely happy faces, a lot of times, not I'm not saying all the time because that's, that's, that's totally not what I'm saying. Um, sometimes when you see people who put on a happy face all the time, you know, they're always getting there, always happy. Sometimes, you know, deep down inside, those people are some of the most miserable, depressed people you will ever meet. And I'm not saying that they're miserable as though, you know, they're in a bad way. I mean, being miserable is a bad thing, you know. I, I don't want anybody to be miserable because I've been there before and it's not a good feeling, okay? Um... Especially during this time of the year when you have, you know, the holidays where, you know, people are spending time with their families and you're watching Christmas movies and you're listening to Christmas songs and things like that. Especially things that you probably did in your childhood if you don't have your parents anymore and um, you don't have children. Especially for people who don't have children, they don't have any family, they don't have anyone. They just feel like they're coming home to empty houses. Christmas time, the holiday season, it is a, a proven fact. It is a proven statistic that the holiday season is the highest, um, that it, the suicide rate is the highest during the holiday season because you have people who really fall into depression and funks because, you know, they, it, it brings up all of those old memories and a lot of people really want families and things and they don't have that and they just, you know, and then you have a lot of people who, um, you know, feel like they can't provide for their families you know the people who do have families you have people who feel like they can't provide for their families and buy their families the things that they want and you have those people who fall into depression because you know they see other people doing things for their family and all that type of stuff when I tell you family all I really want to I know they're not I don't know the process of doing it I really don't <laughs> but I want to have my own children but I also want to I, I want to maybe start adopting a family or adopting a person to just love on for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? To like, you know, during the holiday season, <clears throat> invite them over, have, you know, fun time so they can, ha they can feel like they have a, a family, especially the people who don't have anyone, the people who are in the house by themselves, don't have any, don't have a wife, don't have a husband, don't have children, don't have parents, those people, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the people who want to, you have some people who, you know, Ebenezer Scrooge, and they just, you know, like they don't want nobody around. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, I really want to find someone who really wants to be loved on for the holidays. You know what I'm saying? And I really felt bad for Ted. Not bad in a bad way. I don't, I didn't pity him or anything. You know, he, he said he don't want anyone to pity him. But, you know, it, it was a sad situation, and I can. You know, I felt his pain. You know what I'm saying? Through the through the computer screen. Okay. I've never met Ted. Me and him, we, you know, we've talked in the comments before. But I've never actually had a conversation with him. But just watching his videos sometimes, they cheer up my day. Especially his, he does these videos called Beer Time with Ted. And um, the, the thing that I love about his Beer Times with Ted is sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm in a funk too. And on my way to work, I actually have his a lot of his videos on my playlist. 
and um not my playlist I, I go to his playlist to his beer time with Ted playlist and I um put his beer time with Ted videos in the queue and when I'm driving to work what I do is I play one of them and the thing is he is so funny and you know sometimes he say shit that you know you be like what the fuck but he he, he is a really funny guy and he's sweet and um, I just love, love, love watching his videos. And I felt so bad when I saw he make that video today saying how he was feeling so down and out and he was such in a funk. And sometimes when you get so down and depressed and you feel like you're miserable and all this type of stuff, all you want to do is sleep. And that is a sure sign of depression and um, things like that. You, you, you feel like all you want to do is go to sleep and wake up and hopefully the feeling is gone away. But usually that's not the case. Usually sometimes you wake up feeling worse than what you did before you went to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he said. He said sometimes he just want to, you know, sometimes he makes his beer time with Ted videos to kind of, you know, um, basically take his mind off of it. Sometimes he said he, um, he just likes to make other people feel happy. That makes him feel better, you know, and that's totally how I feel. And when I tell you anybody who is, um, depressed or feels bad about themselves or feels like they're in a funk, a lot of times helping other people really can't make you feel better and this video is almost 12 minutes long and i really wasn't mean, meaning to make it 12 minutes long but i just wanted to tell mr chad barris that i totally feel your pain um not in the sense that you are dealing with it because i do have my mom still here, here with me and i have my sister and i have nieces and um i i couldn't i couldn't imagine being home alone for the holidays but I know that people do it and I know people deal with it, you know. Um, so I, I, I know that it, it can be done. But I, I, I can totally understand you wanting to vent and, and, and say how you feel about those things. But just know that I am praying for you. I don't know if you're a religious person probably. And, I, you know, a lot of people really aren't religious people now. But I don't care. You know, I'm praying for you anyway. Whatever. But um, I'm here for you if you ever need to talk. Like I said, I know you don't know me from a can of paint. But sometimes even just having that listening ear because sometimes people go through things that you know you guys never know about i could possibly be going through things that you'll never know about because i don't get on here and i don't talk about them but just making the videos period is a form of um stress relief you know if you will but um anyway let me get off of here it's an overcast it's supposed to storm really 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 bad today i'm talking about severe thunderstorms they said we're supposed to get like three inches of rain and possibility of flooding so i am definitely going to be in the house today i still have to get the juice man's mom a gift from myself and i have to get my mom a gift but everybody else's gift i already have so what i'm going to do i guess christmas eve probably in the evening time i'm probably going to go to the mall or something and pick out my mom something and pick out um the juice man's mom something she loves bilk <laughs> yeah she loves bilk the juice man got her um a gift card to bilk so, and she's, you know, she's one of those stylish type of moms, you know what I'm saying? She loves to look good. Um, she loves to shop, so he got her belt gift card. Simply because, you know, I, I, you know, sometimes you want people to pick out their own clothes. You just give them the money to pick it out or whatever, so I just got her gift, gift card. And um, I think what I'm going to get her, I'm probably going to get her, I saw this pearl bracelet, and it had, like, her birthstone on it. And it was super duper gorgeous. It was like a um, the, the pearl bracelet. And it had like a charm on it that was in the color of her birthstone. So I think that's what I'm going to go back and get her. And for my mom, my mom loves Bath and Body Works. So I'm probably going to get her some Bath and Body Works. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my coupons. And uh, get her some candles or something probably. I don't know. I'm still stumped on what to get my mom for Christmas. Because she doesn't want a whole lot. So, but um, anyway, thanks guys. Go over his name. Ted Bears. I will leave his links in the description box down below. But you guys can just go check him out. Love on him or whatever. Even though he really don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to give him a shout out because I think he's awesome and amazing. And um, yeah. And just let him know that he is not alone. And if he ever needs to talk he can hit me up. But I'm about to go family so I can do what I need to do and get home before this rain starts in a minute.